Well, good morning, and I'm making a video here on what is um, an unsightly sort of out, um, uh, protruding out of the ribs. And um, as with scoliosis, um, it's not always logical or simple to understand. We're looking at, for example, a 57 degree curve where the top vertebra is tilted 30 and the bottom one has tilted 27, giving us a 57 degree cob angle. Now, when you see that, and this is the left side and this is the right side, so we're actually looking at the person from behind, and in the photos here on the um, right of the screen, we're actually looking at the person from the front. Now, the pelvis, as you can see, is relatively left of the body, which is moreover to the right. Again, that's the left side and this is the right side. The person's got their hands up in here. There's their head, neck, middle back, lower back and pelvis. All right, well, it looks like here that the ribs on the left-hand side, these very things in here, would be sticking in. Why are they sticking out when the person lifts up their chest? Well, probably because it doesn't have too much to do with the translation of the body or the movement sideways of the body to the right, but it's got something to do with the body bending to the right. So if you bend, to the right, you'll find that your ribs underneath your left breast or chest um, here, uh, pop up. And that's exactly what's taking place in here. You can see the ribs popping up. And uh, when this person inhales, that's what it looks like. Um, so it's not pleasant. Nobody really likes to look at themselves in a mirror and see this level of asymmetry. Well, in seven days, um, we started to see this angle reduce from 27 down, or 28, uh, there it is, down to 24 as well. And um, what we started to see was, well, look, without breathing in and lifting up the chest, that's what it looks like. But we can still start to see on day three here, um, the ribs themselves becoming flatter. So let's just minimize the screen so that we can see that. And then day four, day five, and day six. And now on day six, we're starting to see the emergence of these ribs becoming more noticeable and this one less noticeable in here. It's quite a sizable difference between that bump, if we can just enlarge that, to that. Now, uh, that has to be um, a good news type event that's um, taking place uh, with scoliosis reduction. Now, I'm going to make a subsequent video on this and talking about um, x-rays again. X-rays are vitally important in terms of measuring them um, correctly. And, and there are a number of videos that I've already made. But there's one that's now emerging with the EOS films and where care has to be taken when taking the x-ray. So that's a separate um, video in itself. But I thought I'd just share with you the reason why the ribs appear bumped, protruding, on the left chest cage, when in actual fact it looks like from behind, that should be sunken in. And the right ribs would actually be more noticeable, again, looking at this picture from behind. Well, scoliosis does that. It bends the mind and it makes you work retrospectively sometimes to working out, well, why is it that the ribs on this side are more noticeable at the front? My guess and my reasoning is that it's all to do with this bending, lateral bending to the right hand side where the ribs stick out on the left. And you can easily do that by just putting your hands under your chest, bending yourself to the right, and then you'll feel those ribs um, stick out. So, all right, this is Daniel Dada from St. Jude's Clinic. We've now moved. We're in near Tumut in Goobrigandra. And uh, telehealth is certainly the way to go now with scoliosis. There are so many advantages. And I look forward to supporting you. Thank you.